In the energy quadrant today, taking a look at the January natural gas futures contract, which did have a positive day after repeating yesterday's price action. Yesterday, we ran up, made a high, and then lost 3.96% of that high to close ever so slightly higher. Same thing today, ever so slightly higher. As a matter of fact, so slightly higher that I look like, I like looking at days like this as virtually unchanged. On the low side, three spot 812 was about a quarter of a percent gap higher from yesterday's close to the low of today to the open. It was quite a much, it was a, quite a larger gap than that. And then on the highs today, up 4.58% at three spot 976. And we gave all of that up as we came into the close, virtually all of it. Natural gas still negative on the week, but has come up almost 4% from the weekly lows. So recovering a little bit, despite the loss of the highs over the last two days. And again, you can see just sort of some price action behind those kinds of moves, especially as we come into a slower trading season next week as we move in toward the holidays. Now, we did have the EIA inventory report, and today's report printed a draw of 89 billion cubic feet in line with market expectations, but smaller than the five-year average draw of about 114 billion cubic feet. This decreased supplies to 3.417 trillion cubic feet and deficits to 64 billion cubic feet versus that five-year average. That's also always what we're looking for with natural gas is the comparison to the five-year average, mainly because nat gas is driven by weather demand. And the weather demand for the next, let's call it seven to 10 days, is overall demand starts very low and then moves to moderate. Two storms, one headed toward the Midwest and one headed toward the, the west to the northwest is going to bring rain and snow and highs of 20 degrees to 50 degrees. But the rest of the U.S. is going to be warmer than normal. Highs of the 40s to the 60s across the northeast and the 60s to the 80s over the southern U.S. National demand should increase late this weekend, early next week as Canadian air goes through the Midwest and across the northeast, dropping the highs to the 10 degree to 40 degree range. And the Southern US is gonna drop from the 40 degree to 70 degree range. So that'll advance uh, demand just a touch for natural gas.